Hello and welcome to Marketing91.com. Competition in Advertising Ethics Extremely high level of competition in the market has led to umpteen experiments in advertising and advertisers are adopting different measures to attract their target audiences. To this end, advertisers use a combination of messages such as rational, emotional, ethical and so on to positively influence target demographics. Example, Diet Coke vs Starbucks. In New York, to pull a fast one on Starbucks, Diet Coke's advertisers pick the ideal spot, a wall on the same building as Starbucks. Comparative Advertising In comparative advertising, one party advertises goods or services in comparison with the goods and services of another party. Comparative advertising may be limited to exaggeration or puffery, wherein sellers make superlative statements of opinion about the features of their products. Such exaggeration may lead to heightened rivalry. In most cases, the competing firm responds with similar advertisements, high promotion costs and possibly expensive court proceedings. Example, Audi vs BMW. With the tagline, this is what happens if you don't drive Quattro, Audi's advert targets the new BMW M3 with the intent to demonstrate that the Audi RS4 is the better of the two. BMW vs Mercedes. BMW took a dig at Mercedes by captioning the above image as a Mercedes can also bring driving pleasure given how BMW's own tagline is sheer driving pleasure. Kingfisher Airlines vs Jet Airways Jet Airways, a leading airline in India, announced to their customers that they have changed Kingfisher Airlines retorted with an ad saying, we made them change. Profit Motive and Advertising Ethics Occasionally, companies get carried away by profit and forget their responsibility towards the society. To enhance effectiveness, marketers have been coming up with a variety of advertisements. They attempt to give these ads a different touch to make them look appealing. For experimentation and to win the market game from time to time, marketers make ads that may not be ethical. Example, Uber. Uber launched a campaign titled, You Drink, We Drive which showed various popular pubs and bars and categorized them as hashtag Uber approved partners. As per ASCI, this campaign promoted drinking and alcohol, which is not permissible according to their guidelines. Videocon. In a commercial for Videocon washing machine, the company claimed its washing machines as being eco-friendly and being designed to save water and energy, in addition to caring for your clothes. The claim was not substantiated with evidence and the company withdrew this ad later. Indian Pharmacy Sector Every pharmaceutical company is entitled to promote its products and develop brands. However, some pharmaceutical companies have been using their marketing budgets for other forms of sales promotions instead of brand building. Some such promotional activities include unethical practices of offering gifts not related to the medical profession, bribing medical professionals or doctors through free lunches, dinners and so on under the pretext of CMEs and medical conferences. Government Plans Mandatory Marketing Code for Pharmaceutical Firms In January 2015, Department of Pharmaceuticals issued the Voluntary Uniform Code of Pharmaceutical Marketing Practices, UCPMP. However, this voluntary code was barely impactful. Therefore, the government subsequently decided to roll out a mandatory statutory code of principles to check unethical practices in the pharmaceutical industry, for example, winning prescriptions by doctors to increase revenues. The government, industry groups, Medical Council of India and representatives from patient advocacy groups were consulted on the broad guidelines. The move will sensitize pharmaceutical companies. The rules of the code came into effect in January 2015 for a period of six months and were later extended until March 31, 2016. The code is expected to be made applicable on a larger scale in the second half of 2016. Unethical Marketing in the Financial Sector A few unethical marketing practices in the financial sector are as follows. Hidden charges, particularly in credit cards, personal loans, ULIPs and mutual funds. Confounding product design to show extra utility and lower product prices to draw customers. Misrepresentation of facts related to a product by investment advisors or salespersons. Withholding of important product information. And 
aggressive in branch handling of customers and promoting to them adjacent products with the main product which may not even be needed by a given customer example sales personnel dealing with insurance and other financial services are trained to not entertain customer complaints pertaining to unethical charges levied to customers Life advisors selling insurance products do not disclose the adverse and tricky aspects of a unit-linked insurance plan. Unethical marketing in retail sector. Retailers may use certain ethical standards that guide decision making when confronting questionable situations that may not be covered by the law. Retailers have not developed ethical codes of practice, but they have certain norms, and these norms do not guarantee ethical behavior. unethical marketing in retail sector example flipkart in some cases sellers on flipkart have sold fake products to customers who have had to complain against such practices to the company to deal with this matter flipkart hired mystery shoppers people paid to act as customers to buy products from sellers listed on the site and report their experiences of doing so flipkart secret agents sent photos of the packaging labels and products delivered to them which were processed by the company's trust and security team if the product service or packaging quality was found to be substandard the company took action against the seller ranging from enrolling them in mandatory training programs to delisting in extreme cases to resurrect its brand image in the minds of consumers flipkart launched an ad campaign titled flipkart matlab bilkul pakka 100% original products the new campaign conceptualized by low lintas as bangalore as built considering that indians remain wary of the quality of products sold online ethics in advertising ethical aspects of advertising include various features such as social effects creation of desire in consumers and effects of advertising on consumer beliefs a few major complaints about advertising include the following over emphasis on materialism increased control perpetuation of stereotypes unfair focus on children offensive nature of ads and unethical advertisement of hazardous products a few ethical concerns in advertising are as follows deceptive advertising this involves using false or misleading statements for product information for example misrepresentation of a product which may negatively affect many stakeholders especially consumers example volkswagen a lawsuit was filed against volkswagen alleging that the car company deceived customers by an advertising campaign promoting its clean diesel vehicles in 2015 it was found that volkswagen had been cheating on emission tests of its diesel cars in the us for the past 7 years It was alleged that the Volkswagen deceived consumers by selling or leasing over 550,000 diesel cars on the basis of false claims that the cars were low emission and environmentally friendly. Dettol, Reckitt Benkiser Healthcare India advertised Dettol by claiming only Dettol gives 10 times more protection against germs. This claim was found to be misleading because it was based on a comparison of the company's soaps which contains germicidal additives to products that do not contain germicidal additives. Children in advertising. Advertisers target children when promoting products meant for children. However, at times children are targeted to promote products that are not meant for children based on the knowledge that in the current market children influence in product purchase decisions for example by demanding that their parents buy a certain product socially questionable advertising some products are socially questionable and cannot be promoted ethically socially questionable advertising includes the stereotyping of women surrogate advertising making false claims and so on surrogate advertising In certain jurisdictions laws prevent the advertising of products such as cigarettes or alcohol surrogate advertising involves finding ways to remind consumers of these products without alluding to them directly example bacardi bacardi a renowned name in the alcohol business advertises its signature rum by sponsoring various events most notably the annual nh7 weekender music festival and music cds another example is kingfisher UB Group owned Kingfisher is a well-known lager beer. The company markets and sells lavish calendars and bottled drinking water to enhance brand recall among consumers. 
exaggeration, a few marketers make fallacious claims with regards to product's quality or popularity. A slogan such as get coverage everywhere on earth advertises something that cannot be delivered feasibly. Example, Airtel. Airtel's claim of Airtel 4G is the fastest network ever and if your network is faster, we will pay your mobile bills for life is an advertisements are misleading by omission given the lack of suitable disclaimers in print, TV and billboard advertisements. L'Oreal L'Oreal's claim that its product Garnier Face Wash eliminates 99.9% .9 of pimple-causing germs, an ambiguous and unsubstantiated claim. Puffery This is when advertisers bank on subjective claims rather than objective ones. For instance, claims such as the best tasting coffee cannot be confirmed objectively. Example, Pillsbury. The company's advertisement for Pillsbury Rava Idli Mix claimed, Pai bilkul ghar jaisa swad, ye hai desh ki das mein se no mahilao ka kehna, and the claim was unsubstantiated. Lotus Herbals Limited, Lotus Herbals Youth Rx. The company's advertisement claimed to provide firmer and younger skin in just seven days, and that, in four weeks, 96% of users agreed that the effects of aging were almost gone. Unverified Claims Many products promise to deliver results, but such promises are not backed by concrete evidence. For example, shampoo commercials promise stronger, shinier hair, but they fail to tell customers how or why. Example, Bajaj Auto in marketing its scooters, Bajaj Sapphire, Bajaj Auto claimed the vehicle consistently returns a fuel economy of 50 kilometers per liter. When asked to prove the claim, the representatives of Bajaj Auto stated that the claim was valid under standard test conditions. Bharti SoftBank Limited, Hike Messenger, the company's advertised claims of five times faster and ten new features were not backed by evidence. Stereotyping Women. Women have often been projected as sex objects or domestic servants in advertising. Such advertising promotes negative stereotypes and contributes to sexism in the culture. Example, bookmybuy.com. ING Vaishya Life Insurance An ING Vaishya Life Insurance advertisement portrayed the girl child as a burden on parents by quoting, Dikhne mein to pyari hai, ye khushiyon ki thodi bhari hai. She is lovely to look at, but this happiness comes at a price. Brands Attempting to Shatter Stereotypes Unilever In June 2016, Unilever, the world's second largest advertiser and owner of the Axe deodorants, stated that it will not use sexist stereotypes in its ads worldwide. According to Unilever, its new ads will portray the modern, relevant, genuine world of attraction, the true magic that happens between two equals. Lloyd, Unisex Washing Machine Show it to her, it's her department quips a man to a salesperson demonstrating a washing machine to him and his wife. In the ad, Lloyd questions whether laundry is exclusively a woman's responsibility. Havel's fan, Hava Badlegi, a newly married couple walks into the registrar's office where the husband tells the officer that he wants to adopt his wife's last name. Unhealthy Brand Comparisons a few advertisers engage in brand comparisons that may confound customers about the right product choice. Example, Flipkart versus Snapdeal versus OLX versus Amazon. Total Lies Some advertisers outrightly lie in their ads to deceive customers. For example, Nivea. Nivea claimed about its body lotion that regular use significantly reduces body size. A US court ruled Nivea to pay 900,000 as settlement for the misleading ads and to cease production of the BioSlim complex product. Thank you.